Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Gossip with Grace, podcast edition. Basically, what we do is we respond to people's personal problems and give advice from there. Um, This week, we're just going to start it off with a very light, um, casual, um, personal sort of issues that people are having from school or even just like relationship issues. Um, And today... I have Miss Annika with me. Hi. Yeah, so um, the first person said, school is really stressing me out. I feel so overwhelmed. Please give me some advice. Okay, so um, I think this is a case for a lot of people, Um, especially with um, the end of the quarter coming up pretty soon. I think a lot of people can relate to it. What would you say, Annika? Well, in this case, I (laughs) feel the same way, but Mm -hmm. I would say just like, I guess, manage your time. Like, make sure you have a list of everything you need to get done. Yeah, for sure. Do you have like any advice from like personal experience? What would you advise people? Mm, I would say just take it one step at a time. You'll like just (laughs) make sure you know what you're doing and then just Mm -hmm. like. Yeah, make your way through it. Yeah, I would say the same thing. Just um, make yourself a planner and um, a little study routine to get um, your studying done. And don't stress too much about it because at the end of the day, it's just school. And, you know, it's not it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you have any, like, study tips that you want to share? Um... Well, don't procrastinate. That's yeah. what I do all the time, and it's yeah. bad. I do that all the time. Like, I I wait until the last minute, but it actually works. Sometimes. It does work. That's yeah. true. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, so I would just advise this person to take it one step at a time. Don't stress too much, because that's probably just going to do the opposite of what you want to happen. Oh, yeah, that'll make it worse. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so moving on, the next person said... I really like this guy in my Principles of Democracy and Advisory class, but I don't know his name, and I'm too nervous to even talk to him. What should I do? Should I even try to talk to him? He seems not interested at all. Okay, so what would you comment on this, Annika? I would say just, I would try and talk to him. I know it makes you nervous, but sometimes, like, it could end up being something really great. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, just try and talk to him and just become friends maybe yeah yeah for sure I would say the same thing just just take it slowly you know maybe just kind of test the waters a little bit before before you really ask him or anything like that Mm -hmm. but if he's really interested in you he he, you could probably tell and from there you could probably progress yeah yeah so but yeah just (laughs) talk to him I think that would be Mm -hmm. step one yeah for sure that's, I would say the same thing. Yeah. And she said that I'm too nervous to even talk to him. So the nervousness, I think, is um, a general trait for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, it's natural. So I, I think a little bit of nervousness is good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we all feel it. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. So that's like, that's the second advice. And for today, the last advice would be. I am so in love with this girl, and I don't think she likes girls, but she's been flirting. What do I do? Okay. So, what would you say on this? Oh, um... (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Um, I'm not exactly sure. You could always get a friend to ask you for her. Oh, yeah, that's (laughs) for sure. Ask her for you. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, um, I think I would say the same thing. Um, If she's been flirting, I think that's probably a green light Mm -hmm. Uh uh-huh but you don't want to like she you know she might not have the same intentions as you do Mm -hmm. so you might want to be careful with that but overall if she's if she if you think that she's giving like good signals then i would say go for it yeah yeah so yeah and um we have more people who wrote in last um but This week, we're just going to end with those three that we just responded to. 
And next time we have a really juicy one coming up soon <laughs> with, yeah, with some family problems and a whole bunch of everything. So <laughs> make sure you stay tuned for that and um, keep writing in. Yeah, and we'll, we'll give you some advice. Thank you so much, Annika, for this being here. This has been fun. Thank you, Grace. Uh-huh. Thank you.